name is Gabby. And my name's Mike. And this is our very first 2024 Hyundai Palisade in the urban trim level. If you saw a 2024 Palisade video on our channel last week, no you didn't. Well, we did film one, but the quality was just too bad. Yeah. So we're reshooting the urban trim level today and we should have a calligraphy very, very shortly. Yes. So stay tuned for that. This is a live broadcast meeting. We're doing this in real time, no script, no nothing. We're just going for it. Mm -hmm. So please bear with us. Now we're gonna go through a full walkthrough of the interior and the exterior. If you're wondering why our intro is so long, it's because it is a live broadcast. I'm gonna have Mike go over the three reasons why we do this video, these videos, sorry. And then if you want to skip to the three or four minute mark, that's when we'll actually start going over what's in the vehicle. So Mike, why do we do these videos? Yes, okay, reason number one, if you own a Kia or a Hyundai and you wanna learn more about your vehicle, this is obviously the channel to come to. We have almost 2,000 videos, anything from exterior, performance, technology, convenience, comfort. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, if you're in the market for a vehicle, we obviously would like you to consider a Kia or a Hyundai too and mm -hmm. add that to your selection list um, for all of the reasons in number one. Yes. Um, and number three, if you live in Ontario and you decide you do wanna buy a Kia or a Hyundai, why not buy from us? Right? So we've got three locations. We're here in Brantford Kia. Down the street, we've got Brantford Hyundai, which is where I'm from, and then Owen Sound Hyundai, which is up north. And obviously, we would love to help you complete your journey that hopefully you start at some point by watching one of these videos. Hopefully. Now, again, we do these videos. We just about cover everything. So we have about 2,000 videos on this channel, just under. Uh, we do one every single weekday, live at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then we do a couple bonus videos of just features, software updates, anything you can think of, even service intervals, things like that. Test drives. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So if it's Kia or Hyundai related, even Genesis, we've just about done everything there is to do oh, on yeah. these cars. So just have a search and hopefully you can find what you're looking for. Exactly. All right, I'm gonna have have Mike flip the camera and we are going to take a look at how to join one of our live videos. So like I mentioned, every single weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can find us here. You just have to go to the Kia Hyundai channel. Should look a little something like this. Three dealerships, two manufacturers in one YouTube channel. When you scroll down a bit, you'll see today's live video. So it's showcased as upcoming right over here. However, once 2 p.m. hits, that should showcase as live instead and then you just load yourself in. All right, on the right side, you can see we have our live chats. So that's how we communicate with you guys. We'll see if you have any questions, if there's anything you may want to see specifically in the vehicle that we're filming for the day. Uh, you can leave it there and we always come back to check it out. Towards the end of the video, so around the 20 minute mark, I'll say, that's when we will dedicate our time just to answering your guys' questions. So we'll have a dedicated Q&A at the end of the video. I'm gonna start off with powertrain and I'm also gonna talk about what's new for 2024. And there's a hint, there's not a lot. <laughs> so we actually will start off with um, removals. So for 2024, they removed the entry level preferred trim. So the Urban is now considered your base trim. Mm -hmm. However, there is absolutely nothing that's basic about this vehicle. Let's start off with the front end and we'll talk about it. So I just popped the hood. We'll get a good look at the front grille, see how its vehicle looks like aesthetically and how it differs from the calligraphy. So being a base model trim level, there is absolutely nothing boring about this car. If you look at the front grille, we have a beautiful cascading type or almost alligator-like appearance. So you got a lot of ridges in there, a very mean or aggressive look to your headlight design. Now these headlights are full LEDs and you do have projection lights for projection lights, oh my goodness, for your main headlight unit. Your daytime running lights, everything else will be an LED. When you take a closer look at the front end, you'll see we have ultrasonic sensors. So that Let circular sensor that <laughs> right over there and then all throughout. Now those are gonna trigger once your vehicle approaches an obstacle. So whether it be another vehicle, a pedestrian, or even something as simple as the wall, your car is gonna beep inside to let you know just how much space you have from there. Now, another thing that you'd never believe is on a base model is our full 360 camera. So taking a look at the very center of the grill, you'll see our little circular camera. That is going to show you a live camera feed of whatever it picks up once your sensors are triggered. So you can see just how much space you have from that bumper in front of you, read that license plate and see that pedestrian. There's no excuses here. <laughs> Also integrated into this front grille, we do have a radar sensor. So that differs from our ultrasonic sensors in the sense that it's going to measure the distance of the vehicle ahead of you or pedestrian or cyclist. Now, when I'm driving with my vehicle and I have the smart cruise control on, it's gonna maintain that safe distance between me and the car ahead of me and take me all the way up to a complete stop or slow me down if I hit stop and go traffic, whichever 
comes first, whichever needs to be done. Now on top of that, it's also gonna be used as a forward collision avoidance sensor. So if the car ahead of me slams on the brakes, my car is gonna come to a halt and it will avoid a collision for you. Very smart car. All right, under the hood, let's talk about the engine that moves this vehicle. It's a hydraulic hood too, which is quite nice. This is a 3.8 liter GDI V6 engine. 291 horsepower with 262 pound feet of torque. Again, this vehicle, it's got a good amount of power. It is very, very smooth shifting thanks to its eight speed automatic transmission that you also get paddle shifters for. This vehicle can also tow up to 5,000 pounds when properly equipped and you have a dedicated tow mode. Very impressive. <laughs> we'll come along to the very side and take a look at these wheels. These are 20 inch alloy wheels, completely blacked out. Aesthetically wise, or aesthetic wise, uh, the Urban features more of a blacked out or city sleek appearance as opposed to the calligraphy or ultimate calligraphy, which features a more luxurious chrome appearance. Mm -hmm. So you'll have a lot more light accents where this one you'll have a lot of dark. Door handles, we have our proximity entry. So this little button, all I have to do is push it and as long as the key is somewhere on me, could be in my pocket or in my bag, the car will unlock for me and I can hop in, press my start button and take off without ever touching my key. Let's move on down. Huge vehicle. The Palisade yeah. is, it's large, it's pretty big. But I will say for such a big vehicle, it moves so well. It is not sluggish. It's not a complete gas guzzler. It's actually quite good. Mike, do you wanna talk about our gas numbers a bit? Yes, of course. Um, if you guys are regulars, you know I like I drive Palisades frequently. So we'll start off with the um, MSRP at $54,949 Canadian. Um, and you've got 11.1 liters per 100 kilometers. That's city and highway. Uh, city alone, 12.2 liters per 100 kilometers. And highway, 9.7. And uh, how realistic are those numbers? As someone who drives a Palisade almost These every numbers day. are high. So I'll tell you guys that I do about 105 kilometers on the highway from here to home. Yes, I do that. And I average about 7.9 liters per 100 kilometers. So those numbers can easily be manipulated depending on how you like to drive. Of course, they could look worse if you have a very heavy foot, but hopefully yeah. we're on the br brighter There's side. There's an eco mode, which there is, is very a important. Eco mode. Yeah, which is very important and that makes a difference. All right, while we're back here, let's talk about what we got. So okay. of course, automatic or powered lift gate opens up nice and easy. And because this is a taller vehicle, Hyundai offered the great option of setting a customizable height for your lift gate. So if you're a little bit shorter like me, you can pull it down to your preferred height, press and hold this button for about three seconds or until the vehicle beeps, and it will set that to your new set height. Inside, there's a lot of space. Yeah. So all trim levels Wait, of the house. Let me move the carpets so that I can kind of show it a little better. All trim levels of the Palisade will feature a three row seating configuration. Now, when you get to the urban trim level, you can choose between an eight seater or a seven seater. And where are those eight or seven seats? Let me show you. First, I gotta knock down our power folding third row. So let's knock them down. We got a button for each, or they move in two, so 60, 40 split. It's not the fastest, but it's automatic, which is pretty nice. There is the eight seats in question. So what differentiates the eight seater from the seven seater is the addition of that very middle seat in the second mm -hmm. row. It may look a little small from here, but I promise you it is still a real seat. It is extremely comfortable. And if that's not your style, you can get the seven seater option, which will make your two second row seats, captain's chairs, which are very luxurious. They're heated, they recline, it's, it's great. It's comfy mm -hmm. for everybody. But this still offers a great amount of seating. Even your very, very third row is gonna have a beautiful amount of headroom with around them and convenience features back here. I'm gonna quickly extend my arm in there to show you guys what you can expect in the very third row. And we will do a sit test. So you get the option to recline your third row seat with that power button there. You get USB-C's, two cup holders, and then the same thing repeated on the right side. Nice and easy. If you don't have anybody sitting back here, those indents on the sidewall are going to allow you to tr put something in there like a cargo cover. Right there. Underneath the floorboard, we have the cargo cover in question, <laughs> so it comes with the vehicle. Your jack for your spare tire, which is located conveniently under the vehicle, as well as a cargo net in this little bag right over here. We'll close that up. I'm gonna lift these up so we can, sh when we show the... Oh. Like, <laughs> no, when we show how to sit in the back, so we're not running to the back and getting it done. For sure. Um, right, sorry. 
Okay, check that out. And now the only thing that's manual about these seats is folding up the armrest. You gotta give those a little pull. Headrest. That's what I said. <laughs> you said armrest. Oh, same thing. <laughs> All right. But we'll they take... will drop down automatically when you when you press that button to fold the seats down. They will drop down. You just have to put them back up. Right. All right, let's take a look at the driver's area. So inside, we get this beautiful leatherette finish. Oh, what are you, are you okay, Mike? Yeah, I was just adjusting the oh, angle. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so beautiful black leather interior with white piping along the seat. Both the driver and passenger seats are powered with heat and ventilation. The seats have a very, very comfortable level of bolstering and with the theme of comfort in mind, I will say driving this vehicle, it is such a smooth and refined response. It is truly a pleasure to drive. Does not feel rugged, does not feel rough. It's, it's beautiful. So Palisade badging on the door sill. We'll talk about the door now. <laughs> so. I'm so happy they didn't include piano black in this vehicle. We get this almost carbon fiber-esque type trim along the door, leading all the way to your memory seats. You get two different levels of memory seats for your drivers, but bonus, it's actually four, even though there's only two buttons. So in your screen, you can set driver profiles. So if I was sharing this vehicle with Mike, I could have Gabby and Mike, and you'll have two set to each driver. So grand total of four. Crazy. <laughs> also with your memory seats, you do have the, your mirror saved to that as well too, which bonus, everything's set for you when you hop into your car. On the rest of the door, we have our window controls. So express up and down windows for both the driver and passenger with just regular power at the back. Door controls, mirror controls, the whole usual bit. I'm gonna hop in now and show you what makes the Palisade tall or short driver friendly. So while we're still on the topic of seats, you may notice this button right over here and not a lot of cars have this. Let me show you what it does. Push it back and it retracts my knee extension. So as someone who has shorter legs, this isn't really necessary for me. But if you're taller, having this extended makes a world of difference when you're driving your vehicle. This again, saves to your memory seats as well. So you don't have to adjust this every time you get into the car, unless it's not your car. All right, right over here. We have our brightness adjuster. So if you find that your screens are a bit too dim or a bit too bright while you're driving, you can quickly adjust it on the fly without digging through screens. Please ignore the beeping for a second. Just turn the car back on. To the right of it, we have our tow mode. So when I press this button, it is going to tune my vehicle to be in tow mode. This is gonna adjust the way the engine responds as well as the transmission, and I can set my tow capacity in my screen over here. So I'll go into my dedicated tow setting here, and I can choose between light, medium, and heavy weight. So if I'm using the full 5,000 pounds that this vehicle is rated for, I'm gonna have it onto heavy. Meanwhile, if I'm towing something light like an empty utility trailer, we definitely set it to the light mode. And that is just gonna make the vehicle optimized for said conditions. To the right of that, we have our traction control, electronic parking brake, and then our button for our power lift gate. This is what you'll press if you need to stay remaining in the driver's seat and someone else is loading stuff in for you. You can open and close it from that button. Steering wheel. So beautiful steering wheel, extremely comfortable to drive with. No one ever talks about steering wheel comfort, but I will. Not to mention this seat steering wheel is leather wrapped and fully heated. So it doesn't matter how you like to hold the wheel, your hands will be nice and toasty in the winter and you can turn the heated steering wheel on from your phone before you get into your car. So everything is perfect for you when you need to take off. On the left side, we have some Bluetooth and media controls. So voice commands up here, volume, phone button, a favorite button, and even mode to change your different media modes. On the right side is where we'll find things like driver assistance. So this button here is going to allow me to cycle between my different menus. So right now it's on our lane menu. We can see trip info, navigation, and your all-wheel drive torque distribution or your tire pressure monitor, whichever you choose to look at. To the right of that, I might actually take this from Mike. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. On the right, we have our cruise control. So these buttons are always hard to film because they are illuminated, but hopefully you can see it's a little car with a timer. That is going to turn on my cruise control. I'll set my speed with this toggle here, and then my next step is to set the following distance. With that following distance indicator, I can choose between four different levels of being closest to furthest, and it'll always keep me at a very, very safe distance. Never will this vehicle tailgate when you have this on, <laughs> which is quite nice. And it will take me to a complete stop if we do hit stop and go traffic, which is very nice. 
To the left of that, we have our lane follow assist. So this is gonna utilize a camera located right in front of our rear view mirror that monitors the lanes on the road ahead of you. So if there's a curve or bend in the road, you best believe the Palisade will take that curve for you. Yeah. I'm now gonna have Mike join me on the passenger side and we'll go through everything else. And I didn't talk about this when I showed you the door earlier, but we do have a premium sound system in this vehicle. So again, on a base model trim, you usually don't expect to have something like a Harman Kardon sound system, but the Palisade, oh, it blows the competition out of the water. It's got Harman Kardon. <laughs> it's got dual power seats, memory seats, heat and ventilation in the seats, mm -hmm. comfort in the rear, mm -hmm. and a sunroof. <laughs> Now, if you're curious about some things that differentiate the urban trim, which seems pretty fully loaded to the fully loaded hybrid, oh my gosh, hybrid, ultimate calligraphy, it's things like a heads up display, the Ergomotion driver seat, dual sunroofs, ventilated seats in the back. There's a couple things. And then of course, a little bit more of a premium look to the heated, to the drivers and passenger seats. But other than that, and this is pretty premium. Mike, what do you think? Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed that they decided to, because the base in 23, uh, 22, you know, it was base. Like, yeah. not super base, but it was base. So yeah. it's, yeah, there's just a couple more things. Now, what, what I prefer, this would actually make me, it, you know, I would be iffy about my decision because it has almost everything that I need, yes. right? Yes, this definitely has most things that most people need for sure. Um, and then the ultimate calligraphy just takes things to a more ultimate step with yeah. a Massage, lot of other things. Like yeah. whatever seating, is, ergo, whatever it is called. Yeah, <laughs> ergo motion seating. Yeah, and uh, the LEDs, so, All right, and let's, everything else. Let's take a look. <laughs> So for our screen, we utilize a 12.3 inch display. This thing is huge. It's got built-in navigation, Sirius XM, and a whole lot more. I'm gonna try to simplify it though, so we don't take up too much time. Slide over, you can take a quick look at your map. So again, you don't need any data on your phone. It's gonna just work all throughout North America. Nav menu is going to allow you to see current points of interest, save addresses. You could put your work into there, your home address, all that good stuff. Phone will, of course, allow you to um, add new phones to your vehicle, see your call history, call people, see your phone book, that kind of thing. Here's something that's cool though, passenger talk. So this is picking up my voice in the front via a microphone and projecting it to the speakers in the rear of the vehicle. This is exceptional if you have a car full of eight passengers and whoever's sitting in the back doesn't want to listen to you. This will ensure that your message gets across and it's up to them whether they listen or not. When you're done with that, you press end head back and if you want the opposite if you want a nice peaceful quiet ride for your passengers in the back put it into quiet mode it mutes the speakers in the back but still provides a little bit of volume up in the front for the driver and passenger pretty cool i think this vehicle is definitely a perfect family hauler or just people hauler if you like driving people around if you like going on long road trips it is extremely comfortable for everyone involved especially the driver but your rear passengers will very, very much appreciate the extra space all right. <laughs> it's my nine-year-old daughter's favorite car. Yeah. I'm not even kidding. Every time she asks me, are you bringing home a Palisade? Oh, if a minivan yeah. is absolutely something you'll never consider, I don't blame you. Unless you're looking at the Kia yeah. Carnival, which I think is great. Oh, yeah. But this is great. Seriously great. Unless you have 15 kids and can't do this. <laughs> In that case, <laughs> you, need a school bus. you just need two. <laughs> maybe three, I guess. All right. Next up, we have vehicle menu, and this is going to allow you to change your safety settings. If there's ever a feature you don't like in the vehicle, whether it be your forward collision avoidance, your lane keep assist, your lane follow assist, this is where you'll go to either turn off or alter the safety feature. So let me demonstrate by using highway drive assist. Highway drive assist is essentially a combination of your smart cruise control, your lane keep assist, and just the general navigation data. If you don't like that your vehicle is driving itself, Turn it off. <laughs> it's that easy. <laughs> now, I'm going to finish off on the screen now with the right side. So this is a seatbelt indicator for your rear passengers. You can see we got six seats in the rear, six illuminated, no seatbelt lights. Put your all seatbelts on. <laughs> but seriously, if anyone's not wearing their seatbelt, it will show you over there. So you'll know exactly which seat needs to be buckled up. Um, great peace of mind. Great reminder. On top of that, if you do park your vehicle, turn it off. Is Tim okay? <laughs> Sorry, Tim just walked in. These vehicles are, or these videos are totally live. If you park your vehicle and you did open your doors to put a passenger in the back and you forget to turn them, 
take them out, your car will remind you. Sorry, show Tim. He's messing me He's up. He's just wandering. Yeah. <laughs> You're just wandering. I swear I'm not crazy. These people, the people yeah. that work here are. This this is, I'm going to say this, uh, being a dad with a family, it's hard to, you know, you get your kids lying in the back or they try not to put their seatbelts on. It's actually such a safety feature because like I used well, to swing yeah. my head around to check. Yeah. And one time I had a forward collision beep because it was like, oh my, you know, so yeah. this now will tell me and I don't have to swing around. So that's just a little personal thing where it actually... It's peace of mind. Yeah, and it really, 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 well, forward collision saved yeah. me, but that prevents me from getting in that mess. For sure. Um, I will revert our attention up here so you can see we have a single sunroof. Um, again, the Palisade calligraphy will offer a dual, but mm -hmm. the dual one won't open. This one does, which is very nice. So you can open the glass up or have it tilted, whichever you prefer. Great, because that adds a lot of light into the cabin, but keeps other things out. Mm -hmm. All right, back over here. This I like to call our computer keyboard screen. There's a lot of buttons, but I promise it's simple and I promise the scariness at the beginning will go away. So transmissions right over here, park, reverse, neutral, and drive. It is a shift by wire, essentially meaning that you're gonna hit the brake to change gears, maybe not with your left foot, but mm -hmm. then put into whatever gear you'd like and it will illuminate to show you if you are in reverse or neutral. You don't have to worry about putting your car into reverse on the highway, it won't happen. You have to have your foot completely depressed on the brake and your vehicle at a stop to do so. So don't worry about that. To the right of that, we have our auto hold feature, which is essentially a braking feature that holds you at a complete stop until you hit the gas. Drive mode select is located on this convenient dial here. And again, it illuminate, <laughs> illuminates, <laughs> illuminates to let you know which mode you're in. So eco, sport, and smart. Now, not only does this change the way your vehicle performs and how it's going to shift gears and how quickly it's going to take off, it changes the dash. I know, pretty cool. So sport mode has almost a carbon fiber race car feel. Eco mode's a little more bluish green. Comfort. And then smart is the same as comfort. Pretty nice. If you want um, every drive mode to have the same look, you can configure that in your settings if you'd like. Now on top of that, this vehicle also has a terrain mode select. So I can choose between snow, mud, and sand. You can't have a drive and terrain mode going on at the same time. It's one or the other. Now, what does terrain mode do? Great question. We don't have sand here, so I can't try it out. Just kidding. So this is going to play around with your all wheel drive torque distribution, your electronic stability control, your engine response, and your steering to optimize traction in said conditions. Now here where we're filming, we only really get snow, but this vehicle is so, so good in the snow regardless of winter tires, which I totally recommend, mm -hmm. it is extremely capable. Now, if you forget to put your vehicle into snow mode, have no fear, it does have a full-time all-wheel drive system that will adjust as needed. So although the vehicle will primarily drive in front-wheel drive in perfect conditions, once it senses a little bit of wheel spin, it will adjust itself as needed to keep you as safe as possible. Aw, thanks Palisade. <laughs> It'll also tell you if it detects it could be snowing i think based on the temperature like you know yeah so yeah. it will warn you i believe after it drops past four degrees celsius it says icy road warning so that's not going to change the way the vehicle operates but it's going to warn you and then once it senses that it needs a little bit of help it will adjust itself yes which is perfect all right to the right of that we have our downhill braking assist our button to turn off our parking sensors this is great if you are towing with your vehicle so it doesn't freak out every time you put, throw it into reverse our idle stop and go and our park view camera. When I press that button, it's gonna show me my full 360 view. So this vehicle has our camera in the front, the back and the sides under the mirrors. The side mirrors are also extremely convenient, not mirrors, camera, because every time you indicate a turn, whether it be to change lanes or to make a full on turn, it's engine gonna on. show you a live view. So let me turn the engine on just yeah. to show you. So left indicator on, left camera active. Same thing on the right side. You can see how you see your wheel completely. This is great if you are parallel parking because you can see just how much space you have from your wheel to the curb. Finishing off in the front, sorry, there's a lot to cover. <laughs> we have ventilated seats, heated seats, and same thing repeated for the passenger with the inclusion of a heated steering wheel. Over here is our cup holder and just storage area. So lots and lots of space. If you need extra though, you can tuck your cup holders in. Oh, wrong way. And now we just have a ton of space in the center. You can also close this up if you don't want to see it or if it's a mess never mind close that up you got a clean car it's fine you also have a usb over here that's what you're going to use for apple carplay and android auto then right in the very center behind that we have our hidden center console so 
USB at the bottom with the 12 volts. And then this thing is extremely deep. So gloves, snacks, small children. <laughs> There's a lot of room back here and you can do with it whatever you'd like. On top of that, we also have our glove box, which is quite spacious. I'll have Mike. As usual, here you go. You've got your manuals, um, front plate mounts in this bag. So obviously when this car is sold, we'll put it on there. And again, yeah, put your gloves in here because you got the heated steering wheel. Or receipts, like I always say, and last thing, I kind of want to point out, see, I'm the dad, so this is going to come automatic, right? <laughs> is this is where it's like, I see you, Matthew. I see you, Maya, what you're doing back there. Yeah, um, yeah just a little, you know, back vision, which is, uh, uh, honestly, it's it's clutch, because I used to use this in any other car. Yeah. And I would adjust it, it. Yeah. And with that, it's perfect. Really nice to have. Also, I will point out, all the interior lights are LEDs, so they're extremely bright at nighttime. Mm -hmm. Not very impressive on camera, but I promise you. They're very nice. <laughs> we'll take a look at the back seats and we'll do a seat test in both the second and third row. So before we hop in, I'm going to have Mike show the steps on the very side. Yeah. So this is great because if you do have anybody going into the third row, they have somewhere to step and they're not getting their dirty shoes on your carpet. Well, you know what? Well, I can actually show me stepping into it maybe. Sure. Oh, sorry. I should have showed you guys this real quick. So nice and easy. This is semi... Semi-automatic. Um, yeah, semi-automatic, and you just kind of hit it. Let's say I, my seat was back. Still, this is very inconvenient, so you're not reaching in too far. I can easily just step here, and then even you'll see, I'll put my little foot there, and I didn't just do that on purpose. <laughs> and then that's it. I'm in the back. You're in the back. All right, I'll grab that from you, and I'll talk about what's up here. I'll hit recline. And then you can show a little bit up there and then maybe show me in the back and we're good. Sure. Then you can pull this back nice and easy. And I'm back here. Mike's in Palisade Jail. Yeah. I've got about this much knee room to the seat here. All right. And the seat's not even reclined, so it's nice. We'll show it in a second. Yeah. Okay, let's see. So in the very back of the center console, we have our heated seat controls, three different levels for both of the main seats. So your middle seat is a little bit left out in that sense. We also have the inclusion of tri-zone climate control. So if you do have passengers sitting back here, they can choose their exact temperature, where the fans are directed and the fan speed, or they can shut it off completely. Over here, we have a 12 volt outlet, perfect for smaller appliances or devices. And then we also have USB-Cs built onto the backs of the main two seats, so driver and passenger. Both seats also have a leather pocket, very, very stretchy, with the inclusion of this little mesh area too. <laughs> MG said this car always exceeds 30 minutes for the video. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's painful. Well, there's so much to cover and so little time. So I think we just come to a conclusion that it's going to be a long video. All right. In the very middle seat, we do have a cup holder armrest if no one's sitting there. Tucks back in nice and easy. And if you ever do have to fold these seats down, they move in a 60 40 split. So these two will be together and then that one will be on its own. Or you can have them all up. All right, Mike. Ooh, cool. I never sit back here, so. I'm going to come around. Oh, so yeah, just to kind of show the leg room. Yep. So we're going to see Mike in the back. Mike's a better demonstrator than me because he's a bit taller. Okay, I'll move that forward and I'll just kind of scoot over. Okay. All right, so this is the seat perfectly upright. You can see I've got good room there, about this much. Um, and then I can even hit recline. I swear I could fall asleep back here right now. And there's um, so much headroom there. Yeah, and here's something really cool. I love how the seat belt is on this clip. So you just pull it up here, take it out. Really convenient, right? Yeah. And look at that. Another thing that's great about having the seat belt clips is if you are using this vehicle for moving or storage, everything's tucked out of the way so you don't have to worry about anything getting caught yeah. there. So two adults can sit back here comfortably. Yep. Three kids easily. And uh, no, it's nice. It's private. You see how much headroom I have. It's got air vents up here too. Right, and you've got, yeah, your chargers and whatever. And if I just want to get out, you saw that nice and easy. If you back up, I'll get out there. And nice and easy, you'll see just naturally, I'm going to utilize everything. <laughs> just right? naturally. Yeah, I'm going to utilize everything. Of course, you get to brace yourself a little bit, but I mean, putting the chair back is super easy. I definitely right. will say, you don't want to put your tallest passenger in the third row. No. <laughs> Unless all your children or all your friends are over six foot, Unless everyone you guys will all, yeah. fit comfortable. Unless you guys all play for a oh, basketball wait. team. Do you want to sit in the <laughs> second yes, row? Yes, I'll sit right here. All right, we already demonstrated the features, so we'll do a seat test with Mike. Yep. Oh. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I mean, you, you see how it's 
like this is really far back, right? Like yeah. when I was in the front. Passenger seat is almost completely reclined back. And then you have that recline, which is nice. I prefer the quad captain chairs because mm -hmm. I like the armrests and it's kind of, you know, yeah. cool. But no, it's really nice. Again, seatbelt on a clip here, very easily accessible. Lights went off, same thing, vents. You got your lights back here and tons. Of, okay, now this is comfortable, you know, tons <laughs> of room. And the best thing is, is I just clip this up and shut the world out as I get driven home. Yeah, integrated sunshades. Sunshades are something we get asked a lot about because a lot of cars don't have them from factory. So Kia offers it in the Telluride, the Palisade has it in the, the Palisade, Hyundai has it in the Palisade. And it's just really nice to have from factory because it's so sleek, it looks good. It doesn't look like the cheap ones you stick onto your window and they work great. Oh, sorry, I, could, I honestly, I could have fell asleep back there. It's starting <laughs> to get quiet and dark and yeah, it, it is nice there. Um, road trips, my daughter will run to the third row. Yeah. Because it's a nice place to put her seat back a bit and sleep. I'm seeing my daughter a lot because she I don't know why children love sitting in the back, but yeah. I was the same way. Yeah. My mom's very first SUV had a third row seat. Oh, yeah. And there was only two of us, me and my brother. I was like, I need to sit in the back. And then it just yeah. felt like she was driving an empty car around. Yeah, we it's, just it's well, you're back. kind of hiding. It's kind yeah. of like it's a nest feeling, right? Yeah. That's what I think. But uh, definitely, like, I bring home any and everything we have. And a kid's honest opinion is my kids love that. They actually, like, call their friends out. Grade nine. I mean, grade four, yeah. nine years old. They call their friends out and their friends come out to see the car. Like, that's how, that's how much they love it. Um, and it just is a testament to just, like, how comfortable it is back there for them you know, how convenient it is for them too as well. And, you know, and that's honestly honest, man. I might bring her in and let her tell you herself, right? Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, no, I definitely, my heart is with the Palisade. It's my favorite Hyundai because um, I drive it. I do have a family of four, a big dog. Um, and it's just, I never, ever, ever have anything inconvenient, no matter what I'm doing when I'm in this. So anyone with a family, I'm telling you, this is a great, great, great vehicle. Uh. The price is awesome too. The comments are super funny on this video. Yeah, the PA system. Yeah, I use that too, trust me. My daughter's in the third row trying to hide that she's on her iPad and I'll say, hey, iPad time is done because she gets, she'll get car sick or whatever. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I mean, you guys will use everything in this and I'm just so impressed that this is the base model. They decided to do that shuffle. Like it's, it's, it's honestly, there's so much in it. Um... And before you say your next thing, I'm actually torn. I love the design of the Urban that more than the Palisade because it looks more rugged but then than the Ultimate but I love the interior features of the Ultimate so yeah oh sorry it's hard if I can get an Ultimate and then throw and then tell them hey just kind of leave it the you know dress it like an Urban that would be my perfect Palisade you know I don't really like the look of chrome mm -hmm. or too much chrome however I think the Ultimate calligraphy doesn't overdo it no 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 but, but like the black wheels, the dark grill, the dark grill especially. I don't know. Because the alligator style eyes, like yes. you want it to look a little rugged like this. The color helps it a lot on this vehicle. Mm -hmm. Like it does look like you know you can take this off roading. You, you, you know you can take this out. You know to your cottage. Um, well, as in the ultimate calligraphy, I'm a little more careful when yeah. I drive it, right? Um, let's see. <laughs> Everyone predicted in the beginning that we'll be at the 30 minute mark before we even get into the q and I think we're way past that. Yeah. We're at 33 minutes. <laughs> I like MG. I see a couple of comments. You don't have to scroll and talk about them, but I like MG's mm -hmm. comments there. Um, Chrome is way better than Edge though. And then Long John said, hi, Jean Gabby. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then that's a big claw Gabby has, yeah. the clip. <laughs> um, yeah. Any Palisade questions? I love the Palisade, so I'm happy Ooh, to answer. We got a question about Mr. Walker. So Wes Walker is one of our salespeople at mm -hmm. our Brantford Hyundai dealership. He is great. He knows everything there is to know about Hyundai vehicles, especially anything N or N line. Yes. We will have him back as soon as we have another N or N line to film. Yes. <laughs> Which is, so Yes, to be announced. <laughs> exactly. He's here when there's ends. Trust me, he really is. He's, he's dying to. I mean, he just loves what he does. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, okay. Like you guys know, he's his has all his tattoos. You know, he tattoos his cars on. So really? he'll come next time he's here. You'll see his Veloster N on his arm uh. or something. Yeah, it's it's nuts. I've been looking. That's at his dedication work. for sure. Yeah. 
Um, let's see. Cool dude said, can you get the Palisade without the third row? Unfortunately, you can't. This vehicle only comes with a third row option. The only choice you get really for interior configuration is if you're gonna get the seven seater or the eight seater, and that's only if you're looking at the urban trim. If you're looking at the Palisade, you can only get the Palisade, oh my gosh. The ultimate calligraphy. Yes. You can only get the seven seater option. Yeah, so this is, but why would you want it without the, th if they didn't give you the third row, it would look exactly like that with the row down, yeah. just flush. The so only the thing yeah. I can recommend is just tow it down, drop yeah, it down. Yeah, just drop it down and leave it down, yeah. right? Like that's pretty much it. Um, I think we will end off today's live video just so it's not too, too long. If there's any questions or anything we may have missed in this video, please leave it below as a regular YouTube comment and I will be happy to answer it as soon as I get the chance. Again, we will be going live again tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and it will be a Kia vehicle. I just want to read that comment real quick. Um, oh, Ryan DuPont just said, for your information, I just confirmed that I'll be working with Hyundai at the Toronto and Vancouver Auto Shows. Sweet, I will definitely see you at the Toronto one. Don't know about Vancouver. When is it? Oh, time flies. Toronto Already? Auto Show is in February. Also, oh, that's, yeah. I, my, myself and Charlotte and my mom and Pat will be at the LA Auto Show in two weeks. So stay tuned for some auto show content. That's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, Other than that, <laughs> I think we'll end off today's video and we hope to see you tomorrow or some other time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Ha, ha, ha.